Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary This is Total War Sun Jian campaign. This is episode 10. We pick it up from turn 75 in the summer season of 205. So, uh, jumping back into our game, uh, we need to continue to push Liu Bei out of the south. Uh, this army here, we're trying to move them over to take out this rice paddy and expand west. But right now it looks like Jia Long summoning a new army to come to retake Fuling. So we're probably going to do a little bit of a switch. We're going to set him up to lead the army because he has reach and flexibility. So the replenishment would actually go faster with him. Uh, Sun Tzu don't have reach yet. Very, very far away. And we want to recruit Zhou Yu into this army. Just so that Sun Tzu and Zhou Yu can be together. Um... I don't know if I want to do it this turn though. Yeah, maybe I do. Yeah, why not? And then we're going to use this army to retake Fooling over here. We'll let them heal for one turn just so these two can get a little healthier and then they can start moving over here next turn. And they will mount the defense here in Fooling instead. Over here, we're going to wipe out Huang Zhu's army this turn. Um, just not letting them survive anymore. And I'm thinking about putting another general here in. We're going to move Guo Jia into this army. Uh, so they'll just kind of be a roaming burned officer type with Hail of Arrow support. And other than that, rebel farming here. Yep. Mm, pretty healthy. And over here, we're going to put Lu Meng back in, and they're going to continue to rebel farm as well. I don't think we can reunite him with his wife right now. His wife is going to probably end up. Yep, it's going to be on Simon the same. Commandery, so they should be happy together. Mm, we need to fight that to get more money. Clay Ox. Sun Quan, maybe. There we go. And this could go to him. As we can pass this to Zhou Yu. Well, the fan does provide oh morale for militia. That's kind of useless. Uh, we'll just use it as a happiness giver. There you go. Do we have any... Ah, uh, we have extra expertise. So we can't... We have better stuff for followers of our administrators. So we could just give this to... Oh, this is good too. Do we... Oh, Clay Ox. Actually, Clay Ox. Agricultural Construction Discount. Our current administrators are both commerce and industry. When we are when we put in an actual you know, this will be very useful later, just not right now. So let's remember that we have this on Lu Meng. Okay, they all have decent items. I guess we'll give it to her. We're just storing items on characters right now. Let's get this fight done. Should be pretty straightforward. Well, they're actually willing to fight us. I thought they were going to retreat once. They're very suicidal here. In the encampment, Trebuchet is going to hammer them. Uh, let's go. Alrighty, uh, loaded up in here. Uh, terrain's pretty good. We can set ourselves up right here-ish. Maybe a little bit past the rocks. And we'll just pound this front door. We can tilt a little bit. Um, these guys should be two. Right in front of them. Three. Turtle. Right in front of them. Alright, let's get started. Select one. Are they coming out? 
Oh, they are. Even better. Hit them. Hit them at the choke point, please. There we go. A little bit farther out, though. Be better. Do they even have cavalry? Oh, they do. Okay. Alright, we're just gonna pound them. Probably have to hit the axe band eventually. I'm surprised the AI are actually using axe band. So the rocks are corralling them into another choke here. Which gives us a pretty good spot to hit them. Fire! Seems like we should throw these out. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Smoke screen? Well, we can hit the smoke screen. I might want to counter charge the cavalry. Alright, they're routing. It's just the generals now, I think. Ten shots, not bad. I don't want to kill the girl. We have a lot of single men who need wives. In this age group too, Chen Pu, Huang Gai. Once we're rich enough. Oh, they're actually firing at us. Can we get a nice clean hit on the generals? Oh, but I don't want to kill the girl. Never mind. We'll try to knock him out. We're just going to sit tight. And let the general morale drop. Why is his morale so high? What victory point is he defending? Well, he's getting... Okay, so the tower is going to whittle them down. Our archers are all out of ammo. Oh, don't, 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 don't. What are you guys doing? They're chasing after that one unit that we selected. Charge? Is he charging? Ooh. Let's not kill him either. Right. He routed. We'll let him route. How come you're not routing, right? Oh, he actually lost his horse. Hey, don't hit him. Hit him. Are you serious? You gonna come back? Try again? Feel free. Anytime. 10k. Let's use one. Alright, that's... that's. There we go. There we go. Alright, alright. Don't kill anyone. Alright, see if we captured anyone. Yes. 37. Still pretty young. 
employ. I didn't even look at her traits. Doesn't matter. Alright, we're gonna move back. We're gonna stay defensive for now. I don't know what Liu Bei's response to us is. I'm not interested in taking this. I'm worried about exposure. Right, if we have this on the river, we could expose ourselves to more factions, which I don't want to deal with right now. Alright, we're gonna just pull them back. We're gonna shift Guo Jia into this army. And then probably Xun Yu. Although, potentially, Xun Yu might want to just inherit Lu Zhi's retinue. Okay, he's likely to die soon. Hmm. There's actually two options. We could actually pass his retinue to a vanguard or a champion. Both would work. Because these are the two units we want. These are level 10, but... Anyone can recruit these. We can never recruit these. So he could pass it on to Zhou Tai, for example. Zhou Tai also needs to level up so that he can actually gain resiliency. Right now he's only level 2. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll give it to Zhou Tai. Which means Guo Jia actually should stay in this army and we should actually give him tribuches. Huh. Right. And this eventually will be a cavalry army. Alright, let's use the money we have right now to still upgrade commanderies. Alright, we do have an assignment here. We're missing one here. Well, you're up. All right, rebel spawning, rebel spawning. Yeah, we don't have any more money to do anything. All right, before we end, we have to double check. And indeed, we do see a new faction. Zhang Chao. I thought Zhang Chao's from the north. Where do we gain exposure to Zhang Chao? Hmm, no idea, but this is total war. So here goes nothing. Alright, do we meet anyone new because of that? No, good. Alright, so. They will head south next turn. They will guard here. Maybe we can even ambush around this slope here because he's likely to just come over and attack us. This is all our region right here. This commander is really weird. This town wraps around all the way to here. After we crush his army, we can go down and take this. I'll capture all of this with this main army here. And they, after securing this, they can start pulling over here to defend Badong after we recruit a real army once this hits level 3. So we want to be running around with three full armies. Our economy might not be able to handle that, but maybe with the influx of money from getting these, we might be able to do it. So... Uh, stay hopeful. Let's continue. All right. Yuan Shao signed a peace treaty, living in harmony. Zhou Tai is getting along with someone. That's amazing. With a new girl. Zhou Tai. Zhou Tai. Zhou Tai. Zhou Tai is, Zhou tai is putting in his vote. He wants the new girl. Ah, uh, because she's also solitary. So how do two solitary people get along? You know, it's slightly doesn't make sense. But that's why they get along. Well, they don't like each other. Patient versus direct. But they have become acquaintances. She has also become acquaintances of Sun Jian. This girl really knows what she's doing. She's married to a mystery person, but... But she's, she's playing her cards right right now. Alright, we'll, we'll get her married to someone soon. I mean, out of our generals, I think Huang Gai deserves it. 51 though. Maybe, okay, maybe Huang Gai and Chen Pu is past the age. They're out. Zhou Tai has voiced that he wants to be considered. 42. Okay, so we could do this. Li Bong's the newer generation. Han Dang's in between. 
All right, they're coming. Doesn't matter. We're gonna go attack this. Should be undefended. And then we might want to ambush them. All right, they probably want to come up this gap. Oh, this terrain is really fun. Um, eighty percent ambush rate, but we don't have enough movement for that. Thirty-one, thirty, twenty-eight. Yeah, we'll do it right here. I think once we wipe them out, these should be all pretty free. Alright, let's twist back. We probably have rebels spawning here. Yes. We're gonna summon Lu Meng back to heal. And I might want to put Zhou Tai back in here just so that he can level up. He's kind of low level. But we also want that retinue to be passed on, which is also weird. Hmm. It's tough. We need to keep him on the court in case Lu Zhi dies of old age. Lady Wu. Okay, we have 4,000, which is... Ooh, Erya. Yeah. We don't have a... Yeah, this is a set. Uh, we need more leadership positions. He's not so happy with us. So we'll upgrade you to a Erya. Yeah. Here, you hold on to this. Wow, everyone has items. Every single general have an item. Wow. <laughs> okay. I can't believe Huang Guy's item is so bad, but that's fine. Uh, we're not going to attack that. We're going to pull back. I see Liu Bei summoning a new army. We might lose the Lumberyard, which I'm okay with, because I can't really defend it right now. The capital is much more important. I think we'll wait till we give him tributaries. Please live long enough. Last till like 70, please. 66. It's, it's going to be close. Alright, we can get extra income here. Let's start here, though. This is more lucrative. Alright, this is just doing food. We can leave this be. Wait, how is this rated by income? There we go. Wait, then we shouldn't do this. It's not producing us much gold. Yeah, we need corruption reduction here. Changsha is just a rebel issue, rebel issue. This can't wait too. Basically this upgrade is expensive and we need it in like all commanderies. All right, we'll do this. That's all our gold. Let's check them out. I mean, we know we can't afford anyone, but he's young. Oh, what's that item? Hold on. <laughs> now I want to check. Pretend we have the cash. Oh, modes useless. Hmm. Yuan Shang actually has uh disloyal. Never mind. Yeah, not enough cunning crates. All right, we'll just build that back, and we're good. Armies in position, armies in position. Yeah, pretty happy with where things stand. Thank God we didn't meet anyone new. Let's continue. All right, ambush failed. But I feel like we can just delegate this. Oh, actually, maybe we don't want to. 
If we ambush fail, it'll be a regular fight. This is the type of fight we like. Okay, we'll fight this on the battlefield. Night battle, tribuches, fight it cleanly so we can continue to expand. Let's go. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here. Should be a pretty clean fight. They have to walk through that forest. We have the high ground. I figured we should have more of a high ground given the terrain that we were on. But this is fine too. We'll start smacking them once they pass the river. And we'll check our crossbow range. That's decent. Not much of tree line blocking us, so it should be okay. Cavalry hide over here. We don't really need them for this fight. Now, why is this so weird? There we go. Dense, dense. Trees not dense enough to hide these cavalry. There we go. Four. These are three. Shield wall. Right. In, well, what happened with these? Three, three. Shield wall. Crappy bow. Let's go. All right, here they come. Here they come. Mm, I don't need to hit the horses. Fire. We'll light up the trees. We killed a general? How accurate were our tribuches? We killed the sentinel too. Like, not not the strategist. That's a lot of health. 20k? Yeah, the night battle is really taking a toll on their militia army. Only the axe bands are alive because they're not militias. Their morale is actually a little bit higher. Well, they're bouncing back, but I somehow doubt they can do much. They're taking a really weird path to try to avoid our tribuches. Alright, we'll ignore the cavalry. They won't make it. They're like, it's safer in the forest. No, it's not. Sure, we can't see you, but do I really need to see you to hit you? Oh, we're out of shots. Okay, that's a different situation. Do they have any more archers alive? Because if not, we'll just use these to kill them. They're burning themselves alive. It's the fire. Alright, they're done. Alrighty. That was super clean. We didn't kill many of them because they routed so fast, but that was still a very nice fight. And we captured a few generals. So Cowardly is obviously bad, but we could use her as either wife or as uh, assignments because we have a lot of commerce, so we're going to employ her. Her salary is a little high, but level 2 should be easy to deal with, so we'll take her. Alright, Wang Long declares war. None of our business. Reckless. He's picking up a lot of weird traits. First greedy, now reckless. Alright, so we should be able to delegate this win. Right? No. What about night battle? No. This is what? This is... Rice Paddy. So I think they actually have defensive structures in Rice Paddies. So maybe we'll, yeah, we'll siege and make them come out. Because it's hard to choke the narrow passageway with the spear units. We have to run through them. So we're going to go wipe them off the map. 
We'll delegate this one. Yeah, I still can't believe we killed her with tribuchet shots, even though she had resiliency. But that's still pretty insane. Alright, captured officer. That's good. Alright, we're going to continue to push this way. Grab copper mine and then move up over there. Um, let's play not all the fight we have. So here we want to recruit back Lu Meng, who is healed. Also getting him to level 4 for resiliency. Rebels next turn. Over here... Tai Mao is coming with who? Tai Zhong, okay. Liu Bei's army is also getting ready to attack us. I feel like we should start investing in that tribuchet set for Guo Jia. Yeah, probably these guys. Hmm. No flaming shot just yet, but that's fine. Yeah, mercenary archers. 35 ammo, 40, 24, 13 versus 30 ammo, 25, 17. Much more damage. Fifteen ammo. Yeah, the ammo is the big difference. Combat power. Oh, sixteen armor piercing damage. That's not bad. All right, let's go with these guys. They are our faction unique unit, so makes sense. A thousand gold left. A thousand gold left. Don't have enough to buy that. I'm glad we have this though. Yeah, these are expensive to get corruption down, but it's gonna be worth it. Oh, actually, you know what we can do? Task collection. Do we have an army limit? Ah, oh, we do. Um, how close are we to reach the next tier? Pretty far. We could start shuffling armies if we need to. Oh, and also... Oh, there's... Yeah, we can't recall them yet. We gotta have them finish that fight. We could move Gunning away from here. Just use Tai Shi Tzu. And then we can put another army in Wu Ling. This way we can actually have another cheap discounted army. Because this is going to be a good peasantry commandery with Livestock Farm Toolmaker. It's the exact same copy as Yang Zhou. So let's go for it. Get us a little bit extra income. Okay. That feels pretty good. Um, Alright, we're are fine. We might lose that, but can't do anything about it. Let's continue. Alright, they come out to fight us. They greatly outnumber us, but we have better generals he need to watch himself because he has no resiliency but these two boys can go pretty crazy here let's go alrighty uh, we're loaded up in here should be pretty straightforward we're just gonna depend on a few things to win here um, generals and maybe fire I'm not sure if the fire is gonna come into effect here but we can harass with these. Zhou Yu... Hmm. Zhou Yu's weird. Zhou Yu has, like, the health of a sentinel. And apparently unbreakable. Armor? Wow, okay. Um, but he doesn't have too much damage. He has the weapon and, like, the tree of the strategist. Sun Tzu can be very useful. We'll keep him in the back. We'll try to draw their attention towards this patch of forest here so that we can f use the fire in front. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a 
bad formation, actually. We can do something like... Actually, we can do something like this. Alright, let me... Give me a second. I'm trying to get creative here. Um, circle, right? Circle. And then we'll put the fire, instead of in the trees, in here. So that we kind of force the enemy... in between, and we just burn them. Hmm. It's a thought. Let's see if it works. These guys can hide. Alright, I like it. Let's go. We're at what? 70% anti-arrow? Sun Tzu can lap around and start killing archers now. He can stay here, in this circle. He can stay in this circle. Look pretty too. And these guys can just wait. Wait till the enemy archers are engaged before they come out and shoot at the spear units. They have no cavalry, so there's no way they can catch us. Why are they shooting at us? Alright, we just maneuver around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who are they shooting at? Oh, that's normal. Don't kill him. Get in the middle. Smash them. Oh, actually, we don't need to. Just chase. I gotta get rid of these real quick. Turn white. So I can go kill the other ones. Oh, there we go. Go out. Here they come, here they come. Let them engage, let them clamp up. No one stepping on the fire, really? Alright, come out. Help us kill this guy. They're really avoiding the oil. I thought they would clamp up like through here. Alright, we can go straight now. There's no one stopping us from going straight. Alright, now they're all busy. The advantage of the circle is there's, there's no flank. You can't get flanked when you're in circle. Like they can surround us. But it's not going to be considered being flanked. I right, shoot at them. Oh, I thought I, I selected this group. Anyways, we'll show up. Go. Go. Alright. No one stepping in that. Yeah, they're not listening to me. There we go. How are our boys doing? Solid. Alright, back, back. Pull up. We can have this on. And they can just shoot as they run. Yep. Alright. Kite two groups. Not too bad. 
Alright, while they're cluster like this, this is our chance to smash them with this. I can't believe they avoided this. I should have put it here then. Who knew, right? Who knew the AI is smart? Alright, let's hope no one's braced. Double check. Alright, watch this. Alright, charge out. We'll go after the one that routed. Until they turn white. These two boys can come back now. Here. Just 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 circle them. We can, we'll do regular arrows. They shoot faster. Alright, chase after the guys we routed. They're just buying us time in the circle formation. Get over here. Smaller circle is fine. Um, cooldown's back. We should run back in, actually. Well, this is why we have these infantry in super high morale. Like, taking a lot of damage, but still doing great. <laughs> I don't know what pathing I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, they're they're dying, but they're still holding on. Right, we can shoot and charge. Alright, pull out a circle. Charge. Throw you. After them. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, Joey, you stay on them. Sun Tzu, go on him. Charge! Smash them! Chase them down. Right, pull this way. Open the clearing. Stay on him. Stay on him. Flank. Pull back. Oh no no, you keep going. Charge. Alright, pull circle. Charge. Charge. Alright, you're back. That's it. We win. Oh, we lost a cavalry unit. That's fine. We're deleting these units anyways. They're not that good. Alrighty. Purpose served. Liu Bei doesn't have any territory south of Changsha anymore. He still has the trade port. That's his only southern territory. But we don't want that one. We want income. Alright. Yuan Shao signed a peace deal with Tao Ying. Doesn't concern us. Zhou Tai and Deng Ningqin. Zhou Tai really wants a wife. He's getting along with all our girls. Forty-six, 
38. Oh, he and the 46 year old actually get along. This could be a marriage I support. Alright, first we want to get ourselves towards this. Any armies? Oh, here. Starting a new one. Alright, we'll take that next turn. Two level up. Sun Tzu fought really well there. Alright, we're going to not get that one. We're going to go for this first. And for him... Yeah, extra armor for spear units. And then probably go back on the top route. We'll get rid of these. Save a little bit of gold here. And for this arm... Oh! I forgot about that we have to still fight. That's fine. We'll delegate this. Alright, we want this to be level 3. We'll have them go back here. They'll probably defend here and be the army responsible for going to the rice paddy or going down here or going down here. And Zhang Fei is on the map. Oh my god. So we'll lose our lumberyard to Zhang Fei. The army's bad, but the general's really good. Hmm. Alright, we'll kill them. We'll delay the replenishment there, but that's fine. I'm not sure if we have a general that can match up with Zhang Fei though. I'm gonna actually recall him. We might need him over here to help the army defend here. Hmm. It should be okay. We might start thinking about saving a little bit of money so they can have a nice retinue. Development might just have to wait. Yeah, fooling is just food. We'll develop the free buildings first. None hut. Rebels here. Wait, 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 what? When did they get here? How did they get here? They just been force marching. I see. Okay, that changes things. We need to go to the tea house, it seems. We need to heal as well, so we can't really march. Oh dear. Mm. Alright, we'll worry about this later. This means that Liu Yao came all the way from Jianye. He marched all the way from Jianye to get us. <laughs> this is another headache. But we have to push. We have to keep expanding. We can't just sit here. Yeah, we just have to make it work. Hmm. 
No, we need to save that money. This is good as gone. If I had known they had to go south, maybe I wouldn't recall Ganning. But now that we did... Right, I think we just gotta save money. We don't have much option here. Tongwu in two turns. Can we speed that up? No, we're already out of the... Yeah, I can't think of any better thing to do. Ah, Liu Zhang, we see them now. They're here. Well, another war here. So I think we lose the tea house. And then we'll retake it in two turns. Zhang Fei will march down or march in. Or march here. Both are trouble. This is fine against this army. Alright, we don't have anything better to do. Got everyone. And... We'll save that money. Let's continue. Alright, so Zhang Fei is attacking here. I'm going to fight it and cut it out. I just want to do as much damage as I can to Zhang Fei's army. So, see you guys at the end. So guys, we held. I didn't beat them, but we didn't lose. I spent the whole time limit uh, fighting some of them inside, and then I scattered some of our remaining troop outside, and we were able to pull through. Uh, they're still going to try to retake it again next turn, but we did buy us a turn of time and some extra gold to recruit a real army. Okay, so that's a great development. Um, holding up against Zhang Fei over here. This way, if they want to attack us again, the very least, they have to re-siege and run through our towers again. And it's buying us more time. They showed and disappeared. They're just burning through attrition, so we're not going to worry about them anymore. We got to defend our capital because they're coming. Um, this army's not that great. Our army is getting a lot better, so I feel like what we should do is just actually park our army here in ambush and pick them off when they come. Over here, we could summon three generals here perhaps, and then we can actually beat them back because. There's actually a defensive structure here, and since we held, I feel pretty good about this. We can consider it. Invest some money there. We got a merchant. Did we get it off of her? No, we just got one ourselves. Alright, we'll use this as our save point, I think. This army technically is the army I want to come back here and defend. But right now, they need to come here and wait to recruit a full army, so we gotta wait on that. We can do a temporary summon, like Ganning, plus a bunch of mercenary unit, and just push back against them. Mercenary, like, you know, axe units would work just fine against this army. Hmm. Alright, we're gonna get our reform. We want this one for the harbor building upgrade in every commandery. That's faction-wide commerce upgrade. But we don't know if we can spend money on any of this. We know we can spend money here. That's free. Do we have any rebels to kill for money? Not this turn. Alright, we're slowly developing our economy base in the south. We'll wait on that. Do we want to fight Zhang Fei here? I feel like we can. That's what I... Like what? Uh, we can't raise an army here. Never mind. Because we're still under siege. So that scratches that plan. 
So either I have to somehow scrape out another win with this army against that, or we just bought us enough time to take care of Liu Bei's two armies separately. So I guess Gunning has to come back. We need his Hell of Arrows. He can be bait. So maybe we do want to spend money on buildings, because this army can wait, technically. If we do what? We can do a set of spear guards, a set of these, two of these, and then once these heal up, we can go down here and retake it from Zhang Fei. He needs at least one more turn to take it, and then two more turns to come here. So we have time if we really want to wait and just spend this turn developing. The merchant's completely useless for us because we don't trade. This is total war, so we can't trade. We could boost some uh, extra cunning. Alright, we could build the economy. Go for corruption reduction. Or go, go for any of these harbors that we really want. Who has a harbor? Like this. This is why we got that reform. For the extra 10% faction-wide boost to commerce. 3,750. Super expensive, though. Alright, we have three port commanderies right here. That's 10k, basically. Hmm. Alright, we can't do much. I don't think getting an army this turn is the right thing to do. Because what it will do is eat into our earnings, and we can't move them for at least two turns. We're going to lose that anyways. Just feels like not the smart move. This retinue is insane. I would love to summon this someday. Hmm. Maybe we'll go for this. Right, we do one upgrade. We'll do it in Tang Wu. Are they the same corruption? 30%? Yeah, that's our max right now. No reduction. Maybe we just... I don't know. This is tough. Tough call. Maybe we need to reduce corruption. Like, maybe this is the right route. Yuling is neighboring what? Tang Wu. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. And then we're going to aim for the same thing here. We'll save a thousand. So 3,600 ish plus whatever battle we can get. It's got to be battle income that's going to keep us alive here. Alright, we're good. Let's go one more turn. We're prepared to lose it now. I'm just happy we got one win there. Very unlikely win, but we pulled it off. Alright, let's not continue because there's this fight right here that we didn't do. Let's just be a delegate. Let's see how much money we can get out of this. We got 300 already. And that's it, because this is a commander capture. There's no release. Oh, actually, that's not just it. We went extra 1,000 after that. All right, so we did get a bunch of money. Okay, so we're going for that next. We also get a bunch of money here. 
Well, only a hundred because we just captured this as a discount because we don't have enough faction support. But eventually it'll bounce back to a, another extra 170-ish. And cop copper is great. Corruption reduction, very necessary. Finally picked up a good trait. But Huang Guy's been picking up traits really, really fast. He's full. No, he has one more slot. Alright, 2,500. Do we want to spend that, though? Alright, we're not reducing corruption here. But maybe we... I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, we don't have that many neighboring commanderies that need income. Let's save it. Let's just save the money. All right, double check before we end turn. Good. Let's go. All right, Zhang Fei's back. Um, we're probably going to lose this. I'm once again going to fight it in case I can pull a miracle out again. Uh, I'm not going to show it, though. It's just us grinding away. If we can pull it out, it's probably going to take the full 40-minute battle timer. Um, just trying to do as much damage as we can. Let's go. So, guys, I held again. I don't know how I did it, but we managed to do it again. So here we go. We stall Zhang Fei for one more turn. All right, guys. Um, that doesn't concern us. Uh, we're going to end our episode here. So I feel like we might actually be able to win against them. Uh, we're dwindling down. We don't really have much of a retinue left. But this guy bounced back because he was wiped and now he's recovered. This guy bounced back. So I don't know. I feel like if they try again... I mean, Zhang Fei is still fairly healthy. We still have to kind of stall and use the fire and the stakes to whittle them down each time they try to enter into the lumber yard. But it's going well. We might be able to just defend us straight up against this army. And we don't have to recruit an army here. We can still develop our economy. We'll use this army to, to to invade into the Shu region and you know expand our economy that way. Jian um, Yong, you're not working for Liu Bei. He's working. He's a chancellor for Jia Long. Interesting. Okay, and uh, we have a very busy situation near the capital as well. Liu Bei has another army here, but we have a full army in ambush. We'll just go wipe them out. Wipe them out. And I feel like we're gonna hold. I'm very pleasantly surprised that Barong is holding out, and uh, we'll pick things up from here. Ooh, nice armor coming up to us, and uh, things are looking pretty good. We have fully kicked Nobe out of the south, except for you know the trade port, but that's not a big deal. We purposely didn't want to take that, and we are gonna kick Jialong out of here as well. And then everything south of the Yellow River is pretty much in our control. Assuming this rest of this chunk uh, is not ours yet, but eventually everything here will be orange and we can't wait till that day So see you guys then. Bye